in this section we'll learn how to debug although i have shown you in in, in different videos earlier to how to debug so but we wanted to have a separate section for debugging as well and analyzing so what we want to do is say, say you are running or uh, trying to fetch data and you want to know uh, how the data is coming whether the logic is correct or not so you can debug it so how you have to debug you have to go to those methods and put your external debugger okay so that's the point say say you want to debug in get entity or get entity set so you have to go the same route and you need to put your external debugger on all right so i put the external debugger here so i'll also put one external debugger in the item as well so go to the other bench and i'll put this external debugger all right let me come back to my gateway client where i will test it so let's say i want to debug on the header set so i'll execute it if you see here now my filter is blank why because i did not pass any filter criteria in my uri right so so that's how this is blank so this will go blank this will also be blank and my values where has nothing so let's see whether it selects something or not yeah it did so it will select the first 13 rows in the database all right so and it will give you back now if you see uh, there are uh, numerous other uh, parameters so let's check one parameter at a time all right let's see again we'll test it again and let the debugger stop that one more time so let's see let's see what is this entity name all right so if i put here entity here so what you'll see so you get your entity name so if you are in build header set get entity set so you will always have the importing parameter where is iv entity name will be will header so this is the beauty of sap netweaver gateway so if you are from sending from front end if you get this bill header then you you can put your logic here so what you want to do if it is a bill header right so you can put a case statement in your logic and do whatever custom logic you want all right so let's see whether we get a entity set name or not so let's see here and we do get the entity set name and it is correctly passed because um, if you come to the gateway client look at the entity set what is this bill header set and you get the same here bill header set and now let's check source thing i don't know whether it will show up here or not let me delete this guys source name so bill header all right filter criteria i have already shown you this filter criteria for this case since we did not send any filter it will be blank all right so key so this one will come when we pass keys in the um, in the uri so I'll, I'll show you that one also let's see if we have navigation path so we will not have navigation path here because we have not set up any header to item navigation path which will be part of some other courses and we also did not pass any order so we did not say in which order you want to filter all right so so i'll just execute this and i'll go to the gateway now I, I would like to show you the key fields all right so let me go to the item and then i'll execute it i'll not debug i'll not debug this i'll just want to come out and i'll pass a key all right so where will i find i have already shown you so key fields are here right i'll just copy this and i'll put it here all right now we'll debug it we'll come here so it did not stop because we did not, do not have a debugger so let me go to the definitions get entity set because we know that's the key i'll just double click here and i'll just put a external debugger and i'll come to the gateway client and try one more time so look here so i told you the keys so i think i showed you this one also so in this inputting parameter you have this values you get the key 
and you have seen how we have used it right so we we read that key table and then we know the uh, name of the field or the property and it is case sensitive and based on that we do a select right and and we have already seen the filter criteria and let me show it one more time here so how do you write filter filter is say fil you have to write filter equals to say we'll do in the header one because we have our code in the header one so i'll write uh, one more time fill filt filter equals to say vd typ ty equals to say l all right let's see how we can do that okay now you can see the filter option is coming and you have this vvtyp and what did this have it has the value l so this is how you you do your analysis so so i think this will be sufficient and always remember that the output parameter er entity and then er response you can also pass this when you are playing with um, the ui so er entity is the one which will have your uh, structure or the table if you are in the get entity it will be a structure if you are in the get entity set it will be a table so where is it so it will be your entity set and another thing which i have not told you till now so whenever you redefine your methods it the redefined method comes under this folder so till now we have redefined four methods right so these are get entity get entity set and then this item get entity entity and an item get entity set all right so those methods have been removed from this place okay so if tomorrow you have to someone ask what are the methods which have been redefined in our model provider class or data provider class so you just come here and click this button and you can say okay we have redefined just four of them and what else uh, and uh, if you if you go here so you can always go to the types okay so if i click on this and you want to know what are the types defined always come here and click on this so you will have this this is normal app okay so these are auto generated by sap for our benefits so if i am in the get entity type and i want to see what is my type of of this or what is the type of my er entity so i'll just click on this so it will take me to this npc class and this type you can see here and this type is all public so that it can be visible and then you go to this arrow and then you will see the definitions all right so hopefully um, you will be able to debug so like any program even in gateway or o data service you need to know how to debug so you have to put an external debugger if you are drawing from the front end that is ui5 apps and then it will stop here and you can check your data so this completes our next session that is debug and analyzing the odata service